Well, hello. Today is actually Monday night, late, for our Tuesday, no tag Tuesday, for Tuesday, June 11th. But Jim has been working very hard all day, and I just took my sister around, and we just got busy, 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 and it's like 11.10 at night, and we decided we're going to do the tag. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. So I wanted to thank Tracy over at Trials of a Long Hair Girl who came up with the questions this uh, this month. And in the description box down below, I'll leave a, all the list of questions and um, everybody that uh, usually participates in the tag. So go over to the channels and subscribe and all that good stuff. So this is a random have you ever questions. So um, number one, have you ever talked on the phone for more than two hours? Have I ever? Ever. I, unfortunately, I would have to say yes. When uh, we were going together and like when I was in the service and whatnot. I don't think we ever talked for two hours. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I Seemed like two hours. <laughs> he, um, Yeah, we did talk on the phone a lot because Jim was stationed in Fort Knox, one of the places he was stationed. Um I don't know that we ever talked for two hours. I could say that I've talked to my sisters for two hours, especially Mary, because Mary, now that she's in her um, re rehabilitation center for her physical rehab. Um, but if you're going by single conversation, it would probably be 15 minutes. But by the time she keeps repeating it, yes. it turns yes. out to be... Two yes. hours. And then she'll always say, I got one more thing to say. One more thing. One more thing. And then she'll tell you. Even when you're visiting her, we've gotten what? Into the hallway. And she, can you come here? I just have one more thing. Just, I don't I mean, I think it's just because she's lonely. I, I, I don't you blame know, her. I don't blame her. But. You know, I, I, I'm the type of person, I don't like to visit people in the hospital. I think but, it's the boringest thing in the world. But I want people to come visit me. <laughs> and he don't want them to leave. <laughs> exactly. And see, um, and I'm just the opposite. I could care if people come to visit me because I I feel like I got to entertain them then, and I don't really. Oh, I don't. No, I know you don't. <laughs> I know you don't. But, Just keep me company. Yes, but no, I don't know that I've ever really talked for more than two hours, but pretty close. My brother Mike is like a is a contest to see who can keep him on longer than a minute. Because, huh, what? Okay, 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 yeah, okay. Is that it? Yeah, okay, 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 goodbye. So if you keep them on more, and now it's a contest to see who can keep them on the longest. So, yeah. Um, number two, have you ever stayed awake for an entire night? Oh, yeah, I worked. Uh, you got mad at me, but uh, I worked uh, I worked 37 hours straight. Yeah. But I, did, I wasn't mad that you worked. I was mad because you just were you weren't getting the right sleep. No. And then I came home and slept for four hours, went back to work and worked another uh, 12, 14 hours. Yeah. When we were on a bowling league, we used to not come home. We would get up like seven o'clock in the morning. You'd go to work and then the kid, I'd get the kids off to school and we'd bowl. And then we'd go out afterwards, close the bars, go close out to breakfast bar. and then go back to somebody else's house. And we'd roll back home about eight or nine o'clock the next day because we bowled on a Friday night. Right. So we didn't have to worry about Saturdays. but um, And your sisters were taking care of the kids. Yeah, well, Mary lived with us at the time, so, so. it didn't really matter. But And then I have, like, if I worked and we did all, if we did inventory or something, I would stay up, and then we'd go out after work and that. So, yeah, I've stayed up for an entire night, more than more times than I would care to ad admit. Now I stay awake almost the whole entire night because I don't go to bed till like, 2.30 or 3. Right. <laughs> so yeah. I, I think I'm up pretty long. Um, number three, have you ever fallen or stumbled in front of others? I don't think I ever have, have I? <laughs> yeah, ex <laughs> except on our Alaskan cruise. I gotta tell them the story. Uh, what was the name of that place we went to? I forget. No, oh, it was a famous uh, park. Yeah, some park. In, in, in Vancouver. In, was it Vancouver it or Vancouver. Seattle? No, it was in Vancouver. No, it was in Vancouver. Was it in Vancouver? No, it was in no, no, I think you. No, it was in Vancouver because when we were in Seattle, when we got in, we went to um, what's that thing called? Space Needle. The Space Needle. Okay. No, it was Tuesday. Yeah, it was the next day when we went. Yeah, we were in Vancouver, and 
we went to this uh, famous park. Everybody's, I can't think of the name I of the park. I can't think of the name of it either. But it was they, a beautiful, beautiful park. But they say you're supposed to go to this park, you know, if you're in Vancouver. And we were walking on the sidewalk. And right by the edge of the sidewalk, it's all painted red. On the about curb. Uh, four inches wide, maybe. Something like that, so you'll see that there's a step down there. But some people have to be looking at their phone while while they're walking. And uh, I wasn't looking at my phone in my defense. Oh no, she was looking at she was looking at this rock formation. Yeah, there was a rock formation off by the wall. Was that a bay we were at at that point? I think yeah. it was a bay. Yeah, and it was something that the. Um, Indigenous, how do you say that word? The native people. There you go. Used to uh, build like on a big rock and they put all these little stones on top to kind of like give you directions and stuff. And I was filming, but I wasn't filming when I was walking because I know I'm a, I have prone to falling. Right. So I wasn't filming and I was hold, I thought I was holding on to you, but I don't think Yeah, I you were holding on to my arm. But he didn't hold me up very well. Well, and, no, when you go down like a, a ton of lead. <laughs> but I was saying, I want to go over there. And I was pointing to that, not noticing that the curb was there. And then I came crashing down. And she tucked and rolled. To, yeah, I was. I, I landed down in, in that. But Stanley Park was the name of the There you go. Stanley Park. That was the, and it was a beautiful park. But then I, for the rest of the day, I had to hear curb, curb, curb. <laughs> to this day, curb. <laughs> yeah, every time we're walking is that. But yes, I've... Um, I've fallen and stumbled in front of people. I don't think you ever have. Well, you stumbled in the on the deck tonight. Oh, I just... But you didn't fall. No. No, I just was backing up on the deck, and I had a one of those stand-up dustpans there, and I was backing up, and I tripped a little bit. But, I mean, I didn't go down or nothing. Even when you were drunk, you never stumbled and fallen? No, surprisingly. I am surprised. Um, number four, have you ever had a deja vu experience? Deja vu? No, I, I really don't think so. I have, but I can't remember any right now. Deja mm, vu. Uh, ah. <laughs> no, I think I have, but I can't really think of one right offhand. But I think everybody at some point has, like, you know, like I was here before, you know, like that type of a thing. Right. Or I knew you were going to say that, something like that, but... Number five, have you ever regretted saying I love you? No, why would I regret that? No, I don't think I ever have regretted saying I love you. Do you remember the first time you said I love you to me? I don't. I don't remember it either, so <laughs> we're, we're even. We're even. I, I remember we always said we were going to get married, but Jim never actually got down on one knee and proposed. And so no. I really thought on our 50th anniversary, because for 50 years... 50 years, every year on our anniversary, I would say, you know, you never got down on one knee to propose to me. Every time we watch a movie and someone proposes, I say to him, oh my gosh, look, they got down on one knee and they proposed. So on my 50th anniversary at a party, I really thought that Jim was going to get down on one knee and ask me if I would stay married to him for another 50 years. I can't do it now. I'll never get back up. It didn't happen. It just didn't happen. But I, I, but we always knew we were going to get married. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we always just knew it. So, um, but no, I've never regretted saying I love you. Um, number six, have you ever faked being sick so you could stay home or come home from school or work? Oh, I'm sure I have. Work, you know. I have. I guess you could call it being being fake about being sick. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if this qualifies, but. Uh, it kind of almost falls in the category. Dick and I were working together one time, and we were working in this building that didn't have any windows in it. It was a brand new building, didn't have any windows in it, and we're in there sprinkling it, and it's in the middle of the winter. It's snowing, it's windy as heck, and we're just freezing. So Dick calls up the superintendent and told him, he says, you know, this is way too much. We can't be working in this stuff. It's too cold. The pipe dope is freezing. 
and everything, and we can't work in these conditions. And he said, okay, just go home. I'll pay you for today. So what does Dick do? He goes home and he gets all his ice fishing stuff out. <laughs> he went ice fishing. <laughs> yeah, that's that. I, I always thought that when I took a sick day, it was a mental health day. Because I'm thinking that, you know, like the reason they give you sick days is because they want you to use them. Maybe maybe they think that you're going to only use them for sick days. But I always thought of them as extra bonus vacation days. And so when Jim's sister, Birdie, always got mad at me when I took a sick day, not that we worked together, but whenever I'd say, well, I took a, I took a mental health day, I took a sick day. And she'd say, oh, no, no, no. So the, at the one point, she had, what, 97 sick days yeah, she carried over because she could stupid. carry them over. And they, they let her go. And so I said, you missed out on 97 vacation days. Because they didn't pay they her didn't for They didn't pay her for them. She was out. She was out of that. Yeah, so. So, yeah, no, I have. Uh, yeah, you showed me. Yep. Yeah, you have. I had 97 more days off than you did. And I got paid. But go. yeah, no, I, I I would say that, yes, that happened more than once. Number seven, have you ever stayed in your pajamas all day long? Well, I don't wear pajamas. So technically you do stay in yours all day long. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, in my sleeping attire, yes, I would say so. <laughs> Even when you were a little kid, you never stayed in your pajamas all day? You wore pajamas when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I wore pajamas, yeah. Yeah, there was times when I was sick, I, I'd be in my pajamas all day. You know, and like when I was in the hospital with my stent and whatnot, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, um, I've i been in my pajamas all day long, especially like on a, like a snow day when you know that you're not going to be going out no matter what. And that I have taken a shower and then put clean pajamas on and then just stayed in my pajamas all day. Yeah, I don't think I've ever stayed in my sleeping attire all day and not been sick. Yeah, and that's different when you're sick. I think when you're sick, you want to stay in, because you want to be comfortable. Right, but I've never, if I'm not sick, you know, I get dressed at some point. See, my my thing is, like, I love the the winter because it gets dark about 5.30. So after dinner, I, I have no guilt putting my pajamas on and just watching TV in my pajamas, like, at 6 o'clock at night. Because I know it's dark, I got all the blinds closed, and nobody's going to see me, and nobody's going to be coming over. But in the summer, when it doesn't get dark until 9.30 or 10 o'clock, then you feel like kind of sluggish, like a slug getting your pajamas on too early, when you could be sitting outside. So In your pajamas. In my pajamas. I've gone outside <laughs> in my pajamas. I haven't, I, I, my, my, bet, my biggest pet peeve is when I see everybody out with their pajamas shopping, or like Alyssa going, just picking her up from school, and she's got her pajamas on. And it's not pajama day at school or something, but I know that that's the... Yeah. The style and all that, but anyway, uh, number eight, have you ever been in a hospital emergency room? <laughs> many yeah. times, many times. Many times. Many, too many times to count. Yeah. And you know what? My, my biggest pet peeve with that too is they let you have somebody back there, but then they don't have a chair for them. So you're supposed to stand and then you can't get in the bed with the person because the bed's not big enough. But Well, unless one person's on top. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, number nine, have you ever lied about not doing something you were supposed to do? Oh, I'm, I'm I can't sure remember. I have. I'm, I'm sure, sure, I, sure have. I have. Yeah, I'm sure I have too. I think that, uh, that's just part of life sometimes. A lot of times like, well, I really would like to come to your party on Friday, but I have another commitment. And then that other commitment is just sitting home watching TV. <laughs> Or yeah, something, you know. Watching commercial because I don't want to go to your party. Yeah, something like that. But no, I think I have lied about doing that. Uh, number 10, have you ever been kicked or bitten by an animal? Kicked or bitten by an animal? Well, other than mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's gotten bit by mosquitoes. Um, I've never got bit by no. any animal or kicked no. or anything like that. No. Like a mule? I got, I got kicked by my brother. <laughs> <laughs> He's not an animal. Um, no, even when you went on the farm and that, you never got kicked by a mule or anything? No. Or a cow when you were milking the cow or anything? No, no, no. no. Nope, I've never been kicked or bitten or anything like that. I know that the one time when I used to go bike riding with my mother, uh, when I was probably 14, maybe 13, 14 years old, my mother used to go, we used to go bike riding after, after dinner. 
and there was this one dog that used to chase people on the bikes and my mother would always say just stop and just stand still and the dog won't get you and I thought no and I kept on pedaling and my mother stopped and the dog bit her <laughs> it's just like yeah. that's why I didn't stop yeah, mom. Good advice, mom. Yeah, you, you got bit but no I never got bit so well thank you Tracy thank you so much for coming up with these questions so once again the uh people that are doing them will be listed in the description box down below along with the questions and um i look forward to hearing your answers so thank you once again jim it's late i know but uh we got it done got yeah. it done so um like comment subscribe and share and i will see you either on my daily vlog or we'll see you again next month i'm not sure who's doing the questions next month i know that we've uh, switched them around that everybody's doing them differently so i don't know so anyway talk to you soon Thank you.